this seems to be the border. <laughs> okay, we already went over the Croatian border, the Croatian controls, and it looked like there were no controls from the Montenegrin side, but here they are. We are having our first Burex in Montenegro now and they're awesome. So we're sitting in a cafe in um Herzeg Novo. Or close like close to it yeah. in Montenegro and we're just planning our route for the next days because uh, it's not a EU country anymore we don't have uh, mobile data roaming so we rely on the Wi-Fi now just and sitting here for like two hours or something yeah drinking coffee and uh, yeah. and planning the route and riding some warm showers and so on and uh, every few weeks or every week it's good to go through it all and kind of yeah make a plan for the next few yeah. days So this is the Bay of Kotor um, and it's kind of like T-shaped so we're at the bottom of the T now it goes in that direction, that direction we're going to cycle around this one part of it now Yeah, pretty nice there was a sign saying Montenegro sea and heights <laughs> and if you see this then you understand why <laughs> so after taking the day pretty slowly with planning our route in the cafe and the border crossing and drying our tent um, we have to still cycle quite a bit now it's 5 30 almost and also do some climbing because we um, Got a couch surfer in Podgorica tomorrow, uh, and we want to get there on time. But um, yeah, that means we have to go over a pass that's over a thousand meters, and we're at sea level now, obviously. Wow! Amazing. This is only the beginning. So it's getting a bit difficult to find a place to sleep because it's just vertical faces on the left and to the right of the road. I think I'm going to turn around because we had a spot a bit further back which would have might be alright if we can get our bikes up the snow hill. But I think it's the best we can find tonight. So we found a little spot to put up the tent. Um, this is like here, the bikes. It's like just up from the road, which is down there. So this is where we slept last night, which I couldn't show you anymore in the, in the dark, with an amazing view there of the Kotor Bay though. Um, yeah, well, now we have to hurry up a bit to pack up the tent because we're right next to the road here. As Toby said, we have to climb at over 1000 meters and uh, we're gonna do that for the next few hours. But first, uh, we're only cycling a little bit and then have breakfast. At the moment, we are climbing hairpin turn number 11. 
and there are 25 of them. <laughs> so still a few to go. Number 18. Yay, the last one begins. Number 25. So we've done the main ascent now. The sun is coming out more and more, but now it's the worst part is over and yeah it just looked really cool uh, coming up like looking where you've come up it just looks amazing We arrived at the couch surfing place and are now bringing everything upstairs. We just had our second night in Montenegro at uh, our first couch surfer hosts, um, Ranko and Anja, and uh, in Podgorica in the capital. Just have to see that I don't get run over on this roundabout. Oh, and I missed the bike path. Um, and yeah, it was really nice. And uh, they were really lovely, and we went out for some food and some drinks and it was really cool had a lot more to drink than we've had in a long time so that hit a bit hard and the head is hurting a bit this morning but uh yeah all in all it was a really really nice experience <laughs> and now we're heading to um albania Just in case you didn't know, we're drinking the tap water from Montenegro. Although we read before that you can't or shouldn't drink it, but um, Ranko and other people told us that it's safe and that the Montenegrins are actually proud of their tap water. So. Don't worry about that if you ever go here. It's crazy, another two nights now in Montenegro gone. Well, past. <laughs> and pretty adventurous two nights. And uh, here comes Albania. Let's have a look.